Hey everyone, it's really starting to get cold outside. So I'm gonna get bundled up right now. And um, as I'm getting bundled up, because it's getting cold, I'm gonna start thinking about spring. Why would I be thinking about spring? Well, next week, Monday is Tu B'Shvat, the 15th of the Hebrew month of Shvat. And that's the holiday in which we, the Jewish people, celebrate the gifts of nature. Because without all the things that happen in the natural world, we wouldn't be here. So I have a few ideas to try to make Tu B'Shvat something a little bit more special this year. Maybe you and your family will think about doing some things for Tu B'Shvat. So the first, I have, the first idea I have is that it would be great to think about some of the special foods that are known to be from the state of Israel. So according to the Torah, there are seven special foods that grow in Israel. And they include wheat and barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and dates. Hmm, how many of those do any of you like? Well, I like grapes. And I love good olive oil. So maybe you would find a food that's one of those seven foods that you guys really like. And maybe you would eat them on Monday for Tu B'Shvat. Some other foods that are also common for Tu B'Shvat are almonds. And I happen to love chocolate covered almonds. Maybe you guys would eat something like that too. Another great thing to do on Tu B'Shvat is to remember that things that grow from the earth are what keep us alive. So some of us take some earth, and even though it's super cold outside right now, we decide to take some seeds to help grow parsley right now. We can plant seeds that will make parsley. And parsley is one of the foods that we eat during the Passover Seder. So maybe you guys might find some parsley seeds and put them in some earth and start getting ready to grow some parsley so that by the time Passover comes in April, you'll have some fresh grown parsley to eat. So planting something is a great idea. And taking a walk in nature is a great idea to celebrate Tu B'Shvat and to remember how lucky we are to have this incredible world that God gave us. Now, when you go outside right now and it's so cold where we live, what are you gonna see when you look at the trees? You're not gonna see any leaves at all, but you know, inside those trees, there's sap that goes up and down the trees. And it's because of that sap that in the spring, they are all going to blossom. So take a walk in nature and see and remember that even though things are not growing just right now, in just a few months, the world's going to come alive again in spring. And that's a miracle. So here's another thing that we can do for Tu B'Shvat. We can eat a fruit. This is one of my favorite fruits. It's a clementine. And I'm peeling it off. And after I peel off the skin, I want to say a bracha because it's always great to say a bracha when you eat something from God's earth. So the bracha for a clementine is borei pri ha'etz, baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam, borei pri ha'etz. Thank you, God, for the gifts of all the fruits that grow from the trees. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Having some fruit and saying a bracha, what could be better? Last, but not least, Tu is a great time to talk about what we can do to help preserve this earth that we're living in because we know it's under a lot of stress. So maybe as a family, we can talk about, hmm, maybe we could make a compost for some of the things that are natural foods that we don't always finish that we can use for our gardens for the upcoming year. Or maybe we could, instead of taking plastic bags, we could take reusable bags with us to the grocery store. There are lots of things that we can do to help us think about how we can be better caring for this earth.
So I'm really cold. It's getting cold outside. And I know this is a funny looking hat and scarf. I hope you guys bundle up when you go outside. But remember, this upcoming week, Monday night, starts to Bishvat. And we're ready to think about the fact that the earth is once again going to come into bloom in the spring. And that it's a miracle that God's created the world with all these wonderful things for us to eat and this beauty for us to see. So have a wonderful Tu Bishvat.